Guys, I can't wait to share this video with you. This is something I've been labbing for the last better part of the last two months of this game. Uh, really, the entire month of August and the entire month of uh, October or, um, or September. And I'm excited to share this with you. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that follow button or the subscribe button. But look at what we're going to do here. You're going to see um, that this is going to get us some gap pressure, a gap pressure at the quarterback and you, just, you probably noticed that I'm actually max protecting. I'm blocking my tight end and I'm blocking my running back. And we're only sending six people and we're getting A-gap pressure uh, with J.J. Watt through the A-gap. So I uh, hope you're excited to go through this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I post blitzes, uh, different uh, defenses, coverages, schemes, all that stuff, and offensive tips as well. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button or the follow button. Also, this is our nickel triple. Now, if you've not picked up my nickel triple defensive ebook yet, I just released it this weekend. This defense is a ton of fun to run. There's a ton of uh, different concepts that you can utilize to create a gap pressure, significant a gap pressure that is very difficult to pick up. Uh, for the offense. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't gotten that guide yet, uh, go ahead and get that. There's a link in the description below. It's on sale for just $15. It's a one-time purchase, and we're going to continue to update you guys that got the guide uh, as long as the Madden 22 season is. So as we get new concepts, as the game gets patched, as new offensive metas emerge, we're going to continue to update these guides for you. So uh, let's dump, jump into the video. You can do this out of any play in nickel triple. Um, I personally like to do it out of Tampa 2, but you can do it out of cover 3. You can do it out of anything, okay? It's very, very effective. And what we're going to do here is we are going to globally blitz our linebackers, and then we're going to uh, press coverage until the linebacker go in goes into the gap, and then we're going to show blitz. Now, when we show blitz, we're going to come down here with our user. Now, um, it's also really important to man up the running back. I find that that's very important for this blitz. Um, and then I'm going to put the tight end on a delay fade here first. And I'm going to show you a blocked running back and a tight end on a delay fade. And this is really, really good against that, that look. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our user here on a purple or just something to kind of a zone that we can kind of get that delay fade to glitch out. And what you'll see here is if we do that, you see we get the A-gap pressure from Isaiah Simmons. Now, this will happen occasionally. I want to jump into instant replay and kind of break this down because this blitz is very, very, um, it's just very, very finicky. So that being said, let's show this. So what you're going to see here is we get Isaiah Simmons through the A-gap, okay? Super good pressure. Uh, what's really cool about this is, as you can see, the like I said, you're either going to get A-gap pressure from your nose tackle or you're going to get A-gap pressure from your uh, linebacker that you've put into the A-gap, okay? Now, that time we did get nano detected. I have found that this blitz does work significantly better uh, in-game than it does in practice mode. Um, and where you need to stand can sometimes change depending on on that so um, you could stand right here i'm going to show you what this looks like now this is really good if they're only blocking a running back so if they're only blocking a running back you're going to absolutely scream at them off the edge or through the gap as you can see right there now the other thing that i wanted to go over about this blitz is um, another little trick that you can use and that is this right here so this time, instead of manning up this safety on the running back, we're going to man up the linebacker. And what you're going to notice is it's going to significantly change how they're going to pick this up. Now, we're just going to blitz that safety off the edge. So we've got hard flat coverage here. It's a really aggressive defense, but, you know, very, very, very risky, but very high reward. And as you're going to see here, we're going to absolutely scream off that left edge, even if they send everybody out on a route and none of our man up assignments need to be employed. So that's kind of the, the, the next piece of the puzzle here. Now, as we look at this, another thing that I want to show you is if they block a running back, you're going to see here that this blitz is going to, sorry, I'm going to set it up like this. And um, as you can see, we're going to send some pretty significant gap pressure. And there, the block running back, um, we got gap pressure from J.J. Watt. And we got edge pressure from our uh, 
and we've got edge pressure coming from our safety. So as you can see, this is one of the major reasons why I absolutely love this blitz. Now, obviously my user, I've got to be a little bit more disciplined and get back on this post. But other than that, we're going to be able to play fairly decent defense. So again, we're going to uh, globally blitz our linebackers. We're going to press, and then we're going to show blitz. And then lastly, I like to blitz that safety and man that running back up. And then we're just going to come down in this gap. Now, the other thing is you can kind of hover in different areas and try different things out here. You're going to see that if they max protect, completely max protect, as a safety or as a fallback option just in case they do max protect as you noticed right there uh, we were able to get edge pressure from the safety so we're only sending um, we're only sending six people at the quarterback too by the way we're only sending six people they're blocking seven and we're consistently getting uh, pressure home and again you want to kind of change you know where you're using with your user I really like to use her over here especially against bunch I'll like man up that backside and then basically I'm going to hover over here and really try to mess with it if they delay fade or something like that. As you can see right here, there's a gap. That time we got a gap and edge pressure. As you can see, this is just one of my favorite blitzes uh, in the game because it sends so much heavy pressure at your opponent and you're really only sending, like I said, you're only sending six. Now, another place that you could stand is like right in this area right here. Um, this is probably honestly the most consistent. If I stand like kind of right in this area, as you can see, we're getting the edge worst case scenario. And then we also have a chance at getting some A-gap pressure, uh, like I said. So that's the nickel triple man. It is one of the best heavy blitzing formations in the entire game. If you want to send the best pressure that I've found up until this point uh, in this game, the nickel triple certainly has it. As you can see right there, there's that gap pressure that I was talking about. You're going to either get gap pressure or you're going to get edge pressure. Or so occasionally, uh, you'll actually get some looping pressure as well. But... You know, I just absolutely love this defense. I think it's the best defense right now in the game because it can really manipulate some of those heavy pass protection sets and you're going to guarantee yourself pressure. The other reason why I like this defense so much is because it is very, very effective uh, against the run. So if they run the ball, or if you're playing someone that likes to run the ball, this is a great defense for them. You're going to be able to get great pressure, but you're also going to be able to stop the run, which I really like about the nickel triple. Um, so if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook, it's on sale. There's a link in the description below. You can get the entire defensive guide for just 15 bucks. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.